are highly social species. We rely on ever-changing cooperation dynamics and interpersonal relations to survive and thrive. Words have a big role to play in these relations as they are tools used to understand interpersonal behavior. As such, words can hurt, but we know little about how the impact of words comes about as someone processes an insult. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to talk about how negative insults can trigger a mini slap to the face. The exact way in which words can deliver their offensive, emotionally negative payload at the moment these words are being read or heard is not yet well understood, said corresponding author Dr. Marin Stuixma of Utrecht University. Because insults pose a threat against our reputation and against ourselves, they provide a unique opportunity to research the interface between language and emotion. The author continued, understanding what an insulting expression does to people as it unfolds and why is of considerable importance to psycholinguists interested in how language moves people, but also to others who wish to understand the details of social behavior. Electroencephalogram and skin conductance electrodes were applied to 79 female participants. They then read a series of repeated statements that realized three different speech acts. Insults, for example, Linda is horrible. Compliments, for example, Linda is impressive. And neutral, factually correct descriptive statements, for example, Linda is Dutch. To examine whether the impact of the words depended on who the statement was about, half of three sets of statements used two participants' own name and the other half used somebody else's. The experiment involved no real interaction between the participants and another human. The participants were told that the statements were being said by three different men. The researchers found that even under unnatural conditions, that is a lab setting, no real human interactions and statements coming from fictitious people, verbal insults can still get at you, no matter who the insult is about and continue to do so even after repetition. Specifically, the EEG showed an early insult effect in P2 amplitude that was very robust over repetition and did not depend on who the insult was about. P2 is a waveform component of the event-related potential or ERP measured at the human scalp. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.